Hi everybody, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Ish, Indigenous Foods Made Simple. This is our last episode today, guys. Are you sad? Are you gonna miss me? I know you are. You don't even have to say it. So today we're actually gonna be doing a fusion dish. A little surprise secret, if you didn't know, I'm half Algerian, so I'm half North African, so the spices used in this dish today have North African vibes, but tons of indigenous ingredients. Um, so I'll see you in the kitchen. Hello, my beautiful people. So we're back in the kitchen today, and I'm going to be giving you a chicken one dish wonder. And you could use turkey as well if you want it, or venison even would be good in here. But I'm a chicken girl. I love chicken. Always have, always will. So let's get to it. So we have some beautiful onions here. So we're going to put the onions down. We have some kale. So we're going to chop up the kale. Just a rough chop, guys. You know the drill. So we're going to lay down our kale. Then we have some beautiful multicolored tomatoes, some different colored peppers. We're throwing those in as well. Back to the beans. We have some beautiful beans right here. You know what? We're going to throw them in whole. Voila. We have some carrots as well. Um, I've washed them really well. I leave the skin on my carrots. I just think that they're very nutritious. We also have some beets. So once again, wash well. I kept the skins on. That's my preference. If you don't like it, peel them. It's up to you. And we also have some beautiful beet tops. So waste not, want not. We are going to cut the bottoms off a bit. They're a little bit tough. Then we're just going to give this a rough chop as such. Nice and simple, super easy. We're going to mix that as well. And once again, my favorite, we have the beautiful butternut squash here. Skin's still on, not a big deal. Once it's cooked, it, the flesh comes off from the skin so easy. It's not even a thing. Then we have some wonderful garlic here. And you guys already know, I love garlic. Garlic loves me. I don't know how other people feel when I eat too much garlic, but that's okay. So as always, we're just gonna chop it up roughly. No big deal, don't worry, don't fret. We're gonna throw it in. Now I'm going to add the chicken. So I just use chicken thighs, bone in, skin on. The bone and the fat really add a lot of flavor to the dish. We're just going to leave it like that. If you have a bigger family, just put more chicken in. The, but the vegetables are so substantial, you really don't need too, too much meat. So we have garlic powder because I love garlic, hello. We have parsley. We have cumin. So be careful with the cumin. You don't wanna overpower it. We're gonna sprinkle, we're gonna sprinkle. We are going to add some paprika. Now, these flavors with these vegetables and this meat are just to die for. 
North African spices and indigenous ingredients go beautifully together. So this dish, I guess you could say, is the essence of me, representing both of my cultures, being from Six Nations, being indigenous, and also being Algerian from North Africa. Because the beauty of life comes from balance. And we have a little turmeric. Don't use too much turmeric. Fun fact, turmeric is actually an anti-inflammatory. So honey, if you're inflamed, eat some turmeric. Then we are going to salt. Don't be afraid to salt. There are a lot of items in this pan. We're going to pepper. Olive oil. And I have a can of mixed beans in here. I keep the juice because I add a little bit of water in here and the bean juice actually helps thicken it up a bit. So we're gonna add those. And we're adding our water. And that's that, guys. That's our dish. It's prepped. You're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees, our magical number, our magical temperature. Cover it and cook it for about an hour, hour 45. And then, voila, you have beautiful chicken in one pan. Because I don't like doing dishes. All right, everybody, it's done. Are you ready? And ta-da! Your chicken one dish wonder with North African vibes and a whole lot of happiness and love. So we have all of our beautiful veg in here. You could serve this with the wild rice medley we made a couple weeks back. You could serve it with couscous. My personal favorite though, I actually eat it with pasta, but don't tell anybody it's a secret. Just kidding. So there you have it, my friends. The chicken one dish wonder with plenty of North African vibes and a whole lot of happiness. I'd just like to say, Thank you so much for everybody loving and supporting our series. Thank you to Hamilton Library for having us here again today. Thank you for tuning in to In the Kitchen with Ish, Indigenous Foods Made Simple. And I'll definitely be seeing you guys around. Thank you so much. Bye.